Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Cataclysm. Dark Days Ahead with our Mall Challenge Episode 6 and I do regret to inform you guys that this will probably most likely be our last episode. I would be very, very surprised if we managed to turn things around and survive this. I, I don't think it's a possibility, but we are going to try. Uh, my character is very tired. And even though there's zombies in the basement, I almost feel like I should just fall asleep right here. Like, I know I can't leave. There's no safe place to sleep. Um, even here is not very safe, but what are you, what are you gonna do, right? Uh, so I do wanna go in the basement, try to shoot those zombies, but I think my best bet's gonna be to probably sleep here somewheres. Well, let's go ahead though and make sure we eat and drink. Do I have anything? Empty my trash out here. What else? Choose some more gum. Some clean water. We took some aspirin already. Eat some potato chips. Just trying to do anything to make me happy. Which we are. Yeah, um, pain 25. Look at how damaged we are. And that infection. So I guess if we're going to sleep, we need to unpack our folded emergency blanket. So you unpack your emergency blanket for use. We'll drop it right here on the ground. And we'll go ahead and go to sleep probably. I don't have to activate this, do I? Or maybe I wear it? Okay, that packs it. Oh, it packs it so it must make it kind of lighter. Oh, I don't want to wield it. want to unpack it again. Alright, we're going to try to sleep right here. This could be really bad. Do you hear zombies outside? Okay, not bad. Left arm still infected, but we're a lot more healed than we were. And it's already 5.26pm. Okay, so we managed to actually sleep here and not get eaten alive. That's impressive to say the least. Our arm's aching pretty bad. Uh, we're very, very sick. Uh, dexterity, intelligence, strength, still pretty rough, um, as well as, uh, we probably didn't need that blanket because it seemed to have warmed us up a lot. Let's go ahead and drop it. And that'll help balance everything out. Could always do some meth if I wanted to. Definitely take some more aspirin. Okay, we're ready to clear this basement out. I think this is going to be our best option. I know this might not be like the, the greatest thing ever, but. Now, I do got to say that I'm pretty worried. Because uh, I don't doubt a ton of zombies didn't hear that. So what we're going to do is move everything out of the way here. If I can remember how to do it. And I clearly don't. Okay, there we go. Okay, should be two. Destination area. I always... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, six. There we go. There we go. Okay. Got it. Okay, we're going to hope there's no more zombies down here. Check see how many rounds we've got. 12 rounds. Plenty of rounds. We're looking for a med kit. In fact, there's so many items down here. 
And I'm definitely better off just doing this. Wow, there's a lot of items down here. Roll mat, that's going to be useful. Cotton balls. Vitamins. Survivor's note. Some tinder. Bandages. I don't see... A med kit or anything that's going to help us. In fact, other than Tinder, which is just easy flammable material, I don't even see a lighter or anything, really. Matchbook. Okay, where is that? Okay, right there. That's pretty important. Okay, we really need this matchbook. Um, how can I go about heating up a knife? I think it's too late to clean my wound, but I sure would like to try. Okay, that would be lighting. So I would have to light the fire outside. Okay, let me grab some stuff worth burning. Smash some of these benches. Grab the splintered wood and the two by fours. Drop them right here on the ground. I do know it's raining, but we're going to give it a shot. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. Now that we got the matchbook, we'll go ahead. Light this fire here. Okay. Now to heat up the knife. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to... I want to cauterize a wound, but I can't, huh? Maybe I have to drop the knife in the fire. It's probably... Okay, I guess that got rid of my knife. <laughs> oh, well. Well, there goes my knife. You do still have this. Okay, what was I using as a weapon before? Where's my other weapon? I must have... Okay, I've got this. This is what we're going to use. I must have gotten rid of the other one. Or it just broke over time. That's fine. We've got that and that's all that matters. Can I... So it's too late to cauterize the wound is pretty much what I'm reading. So the only thing that can save us is uh, antibiotics from the pharmacy. So we are still going to head into town to raid the pharmacy. We're just going to have to wait uh, till it's nighttime to do that but we do got a lot of supplies down here let's go ahead and get tabs for what we've got that's going to be useful is there any in booster contains anybody well we'll give it a shot i don't think it's gonna heal us but we feel tough and that's all that matters cotton balls is there anything to drink down here Actually, a lot of matchbooks. Exacto knife. Lots of food. Purified water. And we have some clean water. We're very hungry. We'll go ahead and eat some of the good food. And we've got vegetable soup and whatnot. Actually, do I still have that meat on me? I do. Why don't we go cook that? Walls I've got, or walls I can get a fire going. And, um, let's see. Cooked meat.
Okay, I guess I made vegetable soup too. Oh, the heat pack can be useful, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. I've got jeans that fit me. What am I wearing now? Pants that are pretty damaged. Let's go ahead and drop our pants. So we're not wearing any pants. We'll go ahead and we'll wear some jeans. Roll mat's going to be pretty useful, but not going to worry about grabbing it for now. We've got a lot of winter coats that fit us. That might be something worth grabbing at some point. A t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt does not fit though. Bandages will take. Bandages, some thread. Some more gummy vitamins. All sorts of food. I do know that the food bogs us down a little bit, but I'm going to take it anyways. Some tinder. The tools I'll leave for now. Actually, I don't need those cotton balls. Sweater we might need. Okay, here's a long sleeve shirt that fits. Oh. oh, the sweater and the the knit hat. We're gonna pick those up. I can drop certain things then. We'll drop the turban. Um, we can even drop the bandana. And yeah, we've got the winter winter gloves, winter boots. I'm not worried about pair of glove liners. We're going to want one of these winter coats at some point, but we don't have the space for it now because we've got so much food and that's fine. Go ahead and grab the heat pack. No, I, need a t I don't need that tinder. In the winter coat, we're not going to worry about it right now, but we will come back. Uh, we will come back for it, or well, really come back for it. We're going to hang out here anyways, really for the most parts. Six thirty-seven p.m. or we're pretty tired. Let's grab the roll mat at the least. We can go ahead and set this up over here. It's where we'll pretty much be sleeping for a while. Is off in this area. We'll drop the emergency blanket there. And then we've got all of these gloves and whatnot that are worth wearing. Drop the light gloves. Um, and we've got plenty of gloves and whatnot to help us. Plenty of winter clothing to help us when it gets cold out again. If it gets as cold as it got last time. Uh, last night that is it got freezing okay pick up all this trash remove all of our trash some results I don't want it there put it on this table here for now okay what else can we craft Because we still have until night time. Nothing crazy, really. What is there? Huh. Cut something else up. The raindrops keep falling on my head. The acid ensured my eyes would soon be bleeding red. Okay. A pair of wool gloves. A screwdriver set's actually a pretty useful tool. As well as the hacksaw. Wet 
barfed. Yes, puking. No good. That's what that is. Okay. We are wet. Ah, yes, we can't eat anything. It'll make us sick. Except for a gummy vitamin, and we could... Bandage up our left leg. It'll help it a little bit. Okay, it's 7.07. .07. It should be getting dark soon enough. Well, as we're continuing to wait, see if we can make any more recipes. Oh, cook some more meat at least. But we're not going to be able to eat it. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wait. If I remember what key, yes. Okay. And now we're going to have to go back into town. Which is not something I'm looking forward to. Because we are probably not going to survive. Now I do not want the pistol out. Let's go ahead and wield our nice blade here. It's got a good cut on it. And let's head into town somewhat. We got to be careful. We do know that there's a lot of zombie hordes. We're actually going to come right down here where the road kind of breaks and we're going to cross that way. Was a lot of zombie cops somewhere in this area. As well as a dog. We know there's an uh, amigo to the south. We want to definitely stay away from that. Boy, we couldn't be in like a worse position. I'll tell you that. I'm contemplating going back. I'll come back to the... I'm only contemplating going back because I don't want to leave all the stuff we had there. Um, because I might not want to go back there, but I will. I'm just looking to see if the temperature is dropping. It's not right now. Yeah, I'll go back there. How's it go from... Like, insanely, unbearably cold to comfortable temperature? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go back. If we manage to complete our mission and find a way to clean our infection or get rid of our infection with antibiotics, we will turn around and go back. From the southwest, you hear a horrified scream. Yeah, that should be the Migo. We're not going to go anywhere near that. I know for a fact there's probably zombies all around us right now. But they just can't see us and we can't see them. Okay, shocker brute. Okay, am I going to be able to get to the pharmacy with him there? Guess we're going south. Okay, he still doesn't see us. Okay, we're going to be alright, I think. Maybe. We're going to have to get closer to him if we're going to do this. We're on the back of the electronics store now. He's somewhere here. If we go around to the front of the electronics store, we can make it, but the road is where it's going to get really bad. But I don't think I can follow this building over and down without getting spotted. Oh, oh crap. Well, we could take out that crawling zombie. Okay, it doesn't actually see me, so the shocker brute shouldn't be able to see me either. Let's take care of this crawling zombie. Okay. Oh, I'm like so nervous right now. Oh boy, parking lot. Okay, we'll have to cross the parking lot. Yeah, like I was saying, we'll have to go back to there just to grab some last minute things, maybe a winter coat or something to carry on us before we continue on, but I'm not going to make that our home or anything. Um, I'm going to keep pushing forward with the mission of, um, the mall is kind of still the mission, but 
we're hitting towns on the outskirts right now because we do need to do something about this infection and gearing up is pretty important too. I definitely would like to hit this pawn shop. Sometimes you can find some really good stuff in pawn shops. Other than that, there's really not that much here. There's going to be a parking lot down here. I generally find that parking lots are usually empty, so let's hope that that is the case. By empty, I mean no zombies. This one appears to be completely empty of zombies or anything else for that matter. Okay, we're at the pharmacy. We are touching the pharmacy. Now we just got to hope. There's a radio station here that's fine. Usually nothing too bad there. Okay, we're outside the pharmacy. I don't really want to smash the window, so let's try to get through the door. Okay, is it not letting me pry? Okay, it's, it's just pry like this then. There we go. We are inside the pharmacy, right? Yeah. Okay, a tourist guide. This could be useful. This could be very useful. So that's going to add some more destinations to our map. Let's take a look and see what we found real quick. Yes. Okay. A lot more stuff. That highlighted restaurants. Um, it highlighted... Uh, fast food restaurants, so basically just restaurants. Um, it might be some other small stuff too, but either way, we got this map pretty well um, highlighted now. Museums are highlighted. Not sure what you'd find there, but could be useful. Maybe um, artifacts of some sort. Mil military surplus is always good find. Please let there be something in here. Orange juice, great. This pharmacy's looking like a bust. Let's check the back. Okay, that store's locked. We're going to try to pry it. Got it. A oh, plastic bottle of disinfectant, but it might be too late. I need antibiotics, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can only use it on my torso. Disinfectant would have worked. Um, but now that we're infected, we need antibiotics. So it doesn't help us anymore. We might be in some serious trouble. But we're going to go ahead, drink this orange juice and eat something. Ah, boy. I got to think about what to do. Because it's tough now. There's another pharmacy, but I really got to go in town. If I'm going to hit it. I'm starting to think our best option now is going to be doctor's office. But I don't even know where there is one. I just know where the pharmacies are. Hospital, but where's the nearest hospital? Oh, is that a hospital right there? Or is that a hotel? It's a hotel. I don't even see any... Ho oh, there's a hospital. That's way away. Is there any hospital that's closer? There's one up there. There's got to be a hospital over here, right? In this area? No? The only thing we can keep doing then is trying to hit pharmacies. We're in trouble. Mega store too, but is that a cathedral? It is. Okay, well. We're hitting some other pharmacies. Maybe we'll make our way towards a hospital, but we would never survive. That would be the closest one and we'd have to do quite the trek. 
I don't know. We're going to have to keep hitting pharmacies and see what happens. There's a couple in town, so maybe we'll get lucky. However, we're at the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.